All right, Tony Scaponi here, coming to you live at the Epic Storm. I apologize, I'm a bit frazzled, just uh, getting out of work late, trying to whip this up here. So give us a few minutes to get the word out to everyone. And we'll be right back to jam some Ruby Storm with Chalice of the Void. All right, hey everybody. So tonight we are playing some Ruby Storm. Of course, kind of where it all started for Storm for me. Uh, I say kind of because my interest in both Ad Nauseam Tendrils and the Epic Storm is really where it started. But when I actually started playing, this is the first thing that I started jamming to kind of, uh, you know, dip my toes in, however you want to put it. So tonight we are doing something wildly different. We are playing Chalice of the Void. So we have played with this deck enough to identify our weaknesses. And it just so happens that pretty much all of the decks, Doomsday, Breakfast, um, any fast combo deck, uh, Reanimator, right? Uh, even Tempo. These are all decks that this deck can struggle with, and all of those decks have one thing in common, is that Chalice of the Void is pretty good against them. Rhinos it's going to be good against, and we, despite what a Storm deck might have you think, uh, this particular Storm deck doesn't really care about Chalice of the Void, especially when we're the one who um, is casting it, right? We get to decide what number to put it on, but for the most part, we just don't really have... We have four petals, three Rite of Flame. That's it. And when a bonus round is active, we can still even cast Rite of Flames beneficially. We can still get mana with Bergy, with Petal. It, it just, the card just doesn't really matter. It's one of the strengths of this deck is that we can shrug off a lot of hate, and Chalice Avoid is certainly uh, no exception in that category. But otherwise, we're running very similar to what I've been doing, which is a bit more speed. So a couple of cities and a couple of spirit guides. Um, because I do think we do need that speed capability. This deck is capable of going really fast. Um, not super consistent in doing so. However, by adding the cities, by adding the spirit guides more often, we're going to be able to speed up when we need to. So I haven't tested it yet, but I'm hoping this chalice proves to be fruitful for us. Otherwise, it's pretty standard. I mean, you know the drill. We're dropping some cost reducers so that what would typically be fairly lackluster spells right three and two drops um are busted with a cost reducer in play and then all of a sudden you can go from zero to hero pretty quick with this deck especially with bonus round virtual infinity can be achieved quite quickly and effortlessly so we are hoping to do just that sideboard is very similar i went down actually a grape shot because it's very rare that we need grape shot especially now that we're playing lithomantic barrage and most of the time when we're killing them we're just copying fiery confluence a bunch so uh went down a grape shot went down a confluence we had two previously um and we had two torpor orbs to try to help with those a couple of those tough matchups voila now we have four chalice of the void 
And uh, that's that. Everything else is pretty standard. So I say we get to it. Bam. You know, copy some spells and uh, crush some nerds. <laughs> I will see you in the first round. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Woohoo, Vault says. I agree. This deck is a blast. I'm pretty stoked. Pretty, pretty stoked. I mean, <laughs> you know me. I do not play Chalice of the Void, but uh, I'm excited to play it in this deck, right? It's going to be pretty funny to have a, uh, a Chalice of the Void in play and then just go off. <laughs> I don't think it'll be as powerful against something like Delver. Like, it is really good, and they will have to force it. It's going to feel a lot like a defense grid, which has its uses against Delver, but ultimately wasn't quite good enough to get the job done. Certainly not good enough to warrant taking a bunch of slots, but I wouldn't say that's primarily what it's for. I think it's more so for Reanimator, Doomsday. Um, I mean, really any blue soup deck, I'm still going to play it. Gonna have to wait until you're paired. I don't want to play against Chalice. <laughs> Jordan's gonna wait. We did uh, a few weeks ago, I think it was in the last round, played against Bryant. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Well, it doesn't take this long. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's really not much different in the list to make room. Oh, we getting into it now. Yeah, well, we, we started a, a little bit late, so lucky for you, you were right on time. Right on time. So we have a turn one ruby with a bajillion mana after that. We would be hoping to draw any action. I'm actually going to keep this. We have basically all of our bases covered aside from action and not like just mana, right? We have explosive mana. We have turn one mana that also puts into play our engine our mana engine and on top of that our repeatable mana sources are basics so all of those things together make it still you know medium but i think keepable sure if we don't draw any action in like two three four draws then we're in trouble but it's not going to take much eden what's going on how's life treating me pretty well see there it is so what i'm going to do is actually just fire off a seething song if they want to use some sort of permission on this i mean they should feel as though they have to if they do have it so i don't think they do have it now yep Yep, 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 yep. Oh, they 100% don't have it. So we can just... Oh, I really wish... Um, What's it called? Dance with Calamity was, was up in here.
normally I would like a reforge, but I think it's pretty clear they don't have anything. But tinkering might just, it's only three cards. You know, good whiff. I'm going to reforge. I'm still going to reforge. It's just so much mana. Like, even if we wheel them into a bunch of counters, we're probably still going to win. And if they've just been sandbagging a force this whole time, I, I'm i going to quit the stream, I'm going to quit magic, and I'm going to quit everything. My entire life. They didn't. Good. We can, <laughs> we can maintain our composure here. We actually didn't really rip into much. Bit disappointing. What's Ren's result? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Redemption. Redemption. And thanks to the Spirit Guide, this is all occurring an entire turn earlier. Right? Otherwise, our turn one would have just been Mountain Pass. And then turn two would have been Ruby, which could have gotten dazed. So it is Rug. All right, they're going to force the bonus round, which, given all the resources at hand, I think it's totally reasonable to just force bonus round instead of trying to fight after it. However, that does tell me it's very likely they don't have another Force of Will, especially since they had to brainstorm beforehand. So I think they're basically dead in the water. So three, two... Bright Flames, four, five, six, four, Past and Flames, down to one. So the deterministic Past and Flames line, and there is one, does, however, play into Days. That, I, I'm, I mean, they probably aren't playing it. But I'm seeing Uro and Lightning Bolt, so I think this is actually Rug, not Four Color. Could be wrong. There's also a Merc Tide, which also leads me to believe that. I don't think I should be walking into Days. There's certainly a reasonable chance they do have Days. Let's. It's going to cast the Wish. Okay. I'm going to make sure Petal gets in. Into your next turn. So I can leave this for next turn. There's no way we're dying, right? So let's just relay for 14. Let's just relay for 14. Because we Burning Wish and Rite of Flame. I mean, it's probably fine, right? But still. I don't see any reason to do anything else. Looks like the rug mid-range list that did well in the Sunday challenge. Four days, four stifle. Well, oh, they're off it. <laughs> okay. The four days, four stifle, four force of will just fell victim to a turn two from a storm deck. Get wrecked. Let's see if they enjoy Chalice in the Void. They probably trim a bonus round. I don't think Jessica's well is great against tempo. Guess we can trim a pedal. Well, no, because we're not going to be putting Chalice on zero ever. We could just cut the right of flame. 
Sure. If that's actually advisable. Certainly reasonable. Let's try it. And then play additional lands. Do I want both? I'm sure that I do. All right. Hmm. Basic. We got some draw twos. And it's good if we draw lands. I'm gonna keep. I like having this basic. I feel like there's a good chance we'll draw into at least one land. And if we do, I think we'll be fine. Hopefully they let this go and it finds a land. They don't, hopefully we draw into a land. If not, we probably lost. Okay. Is there picking up a land to do that? Right. It happens, folks. Sometimes it happens. I mean, honestly, if we draw land next turn, I think we're still fine. I mean, they could go, like, you know, double one-drop threat, and then we're probably not fine, but see what happens. One. Are we going to stifle up? Come on. Has to be a paddle. Other days. I mean, we did kind of ask for this life. Still not delirious, that's good. It's turn four and we're at 19. They have five cards. We're not in a good spot. We could just draw land, come on. Crazy. Bummer. And Ur on top, cool. That uh, known? I think it was known. We can't Bergy have a third side that is a land. <laughs> Come on. 
Okay. Please. Okay. Got a three three now. Down to thirteen. Uh oh. I think we're dead. Holy crap. I have countered everything. <laughs> Technically, we have a shot if we draw a soul land. Then we can go. Five up to six, play Bergy down to three, play Jessica's will. The Bergy red, draw three. Three cards. 100% chance they're all going to be counter spells. Why would you attack? Wander, I don't. Shuffle. There's some damage, not sure it's gonna match. Okay. Let's get another land in there. Desk as well. All right. We have to play around days a bit. We're going to be hurting ourselves. We are not. This deck is not favored in matchups like this. It's not. Especially if it's two, they're running four stifle. Hmm. Need mana. Aggressive. Clearly our opponent is willing to just just counter anything and everything as often as early as possible. <clears throat> yeah, especially when you have a wasteland, it's a pretty effective strategy. Maybe a little bit questionable countering a burning wish there, but it does give them a surveil. Oh, okay. Can we not get spell pierced, please. I said, please. I have witnesses. Was I rude about it? it was rude than I thought or something. Let's work on that. 
Matterburn, yep. Yeah. I'll say I've been watching a fair amount of Chandelar over the past couple of weeks, and would really like to experience some mana burn. Or rather, it was a joy to vicariously experience mana burn. Put it that way. Really brought me back. All right, they have two cards. And they're not delirious. That's huge. City is awkward here, for sure. I think I'm just getting right of flame. So just get something to kill Darcy. Peak though. Also bonus round. I got a right of flame. There are definitely draws that would make bonus round the best draw. Or the best thing to get there. Also a bit risky. I do like that we're only taking one a turn. I want to prevent that from changing. Bruh. Bruh. Still on the counter anything you possibly can plan. Which does work when you have mono counter spells at all times. Oh, at some point, I'm sure my full time streaming will turn into Chandelar situation. <laughs> Okay, Mountain is not bad. Resolve the spell. Two spells? That's crazy. Yeah, I think we got to do it. Any permission whatsoever here is not good for us. Okay. We get stifled. No. Flustered? Of course. I don't think there's been... Okay, there has been. We've resolved a couple of spells, but that's like it. Their deck is just mono counter spells. <clears throat> Pretty lame. <laughs> uh, if we can draw like some sort of ritual, I think we're just fine. It have felt a lot better if that line involved us playing a mountain and not an ancient tomb. But we did have to play an ancient tomb, and we had to tap it. We draw Seething Song, we win. Like, all it takes is drawing a ritual and them finally running out of counter spells. They're not even casting cantrips, they're just, you know, give a Darcy. So we're good. Is that what it was? Just nothing but counterspells? 
It's an outrageous amount of counter spells. We are certainly at a point where we would not want to draw a chalice. We're now delirious. We're drawing a random card. Unless they're playing Mystic Sanctuary. How many Hydro Blasts? Because we've already seen two. I don't play Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, I didn't see that we had the Seething Song. So we already have? Oh, man. So if they didn't draw something, we just win right here. Oh, no, because we don't have Grape Shot. Not playing... That's, like, the one downside of not playing Grape Shot. You don't have the Deterministic Wish line. There might still be a deterministic line, though. Unless we're going to be drawing a ton of cards. I'm just deciding whether I want to, like, commit to a mountain. Play into Spell Pierce if we don't play Mountain. Or Ancient Tomb. Maybe it's just this turn or forget it, right? So, like, might as well get the extra mana. They are F6th. In a Rimpulse. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, six. If we tinkering, cost four, we go to two, we get three treasures, five. That's worth it. We hit like all mountains. One, two, so now we're one shy of Fast and Flames. Punished. Severely punished. Um, that means I have to go for it now. Oh, you know what we could have done and what I should have done? Just gambit into relay. Forgetting about that line. Or just take the past in flames while we had it. It was kind of like, we're going to hit at least a ritual, right? Nope. Um, I think now it's Ruby, wish for one, and then draw three with Jessica as well. We'll only have one mana. also just kill the Darcy what a bummer what a bummer hmm Could also just relay and hope they can't do two more damage to us. I'm going to do that. Um, I definitely got greedy and misplayed. It was a super low chance that what happened happened, but... The Past in Flames line was kind of boring me. I really wanted to cast uh, Inspired Tinkering. 
Um, but Gambit into Relay is absolutely not boring and is definitely the most powerful thing we could have done. Still not fully accustomed to that line. Can't imagine they kept all their bolts in, so I think there's a pretty good chance. Okay, they bobbled us. Did they? Excuse me. Did they leave? They left a card on top. That's not good. We gotta hope it's not a bolt. Sort of counter spell we can manage. All right, let's start with a mountain. Start with a metamorphose. Don't think they would have let us get this far if they had bolts. Impulse. A lot better if we had a Bergy. Leaving Song is nice. Play one pedal. Song. We have a fluster. In store. Okay. Put a tropical island in the graveyard. Resolves. But well, Ren's resolve. Maybe I was supposed to leave that option to Blast Zone. I've hit another Ren's Resolve. Right? At this point, if we had bonus round, I'd rather copy Ren's Resolve. So, Morphos. Wow. Fizzling hard. We only have 22 cards in our deck. Okay. Okay. Big Horn is worth it here. They have a force, and they do use it here. Now we have one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five mana, Burning Wish four, and we can pass in flame, so we win. They're actually empty now. What do they pitch? Ponder. Flames. And they should scoop at this point. Song. Go. Three, four. Okay, we cannot use this wish except when we want to kill them. We need to go find one of our bonus rounds. Because we have no burning wish left. Friends resolve. Bergy. There's Chalice. 
at all. Say Rimpulse. There's bonus round. Play bonus round. Seething song. Rimpulse. We gotta find the other bonus around. Rimpulse, Rimpulse. Five cards left. There it is. And thanks to Wish not exiling itself. I guess one bonus round would have been fine because we could flash back past in flames, but whatever. Wow. It took everything we've got, but we got them. <laughs> no, I think you have to, once you have 256 copies, that's where Moto Crash is. And we just beat Rug Mono Counter Spells. That's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> All right, want to know? See you in round two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Undefeated. Easy. All right. Here we go. Round two. Playing against Michael 28 EM. This one's not going to work. We rolled a one. Bummer. All right. Well, again, this one's good. Yeah, this one is good. All in do I want to go? All the way. Not to mention the fact that Mountain is the most likely card to draw, because we do play seven, nine mountains. <laughs> Well, Polluted Delta makes me, see, makes me not want to go all in. In fact, I should have just played Mountain and passed. 
I guess I'll. This is wasting a storm. I should I should just play Mountain Pass. But now that I have played Ancient Tomb, I've exposed myself to Wasteland. And I should commit to this. They played like Forest Mana Dork. <laughs> I would have just went Seething Song, Ruby. I don't know if I'd cast the other Seething Song, but obviously it'd be Relaying. Watery Grave, okay, right. Shadow. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna play into days. Not when I have basics and they have no pressure. Baleful Strix, okay. Baleful Strix. All right, come on, give me a Ren's Resolve. Burning Wish, Reckless Impulse, say exactly what we want. Oh, baby. Force it. I dare you. Hmm. Okay. Not even the worst. I think I still hold on to this song. I'm to play a one mana two two. Love it. Okay. Mana denial. Ineffective. Uh aggression. We're at 18. We're at 3. Ineffective. Land destruction. Ineffective. Counter spells. Uh, non existent. And we hit some cards. These are magic cards. They have words on it, on them, and they do things. Not always the case, but here, these are magic, the gathering cards. Ooh, getting frisky. Frisky with the Strixie. You want to make that trade? I got a monkey over here. Not sure if they saw that. Very threatening deep spirit. Yeah, probably gonna play a creature, right? You have two rubies in play. This is gonna be nuts. Probably gonna start with Bergy. They're gonna let it go because they have something that kills Bergy, like a fatal push, it's my guess. Then we're still gonna priority, right? And we'll get to play Petal, and then they're gonna try to kill her. We're gonna respond with Seething Song and get all sorts of storm and still mana. Mountain was fine. I'll take Mountain. Oh, they're just gonna force Bergy. So they're gonna try to pinch us on mana. I don't think that works out. They have another force. They have to force this. They didn't. Now we get to bonus round. Uh, 
And bonus round number two gets really dicey for a blue deck. But if they counter this, still get the bonus round Rim Pulse. This is why this deck doesn't play Defense Grid. Because you plow through counter spells rather than trying to take a more traditional route. Something like Grid will often have the same effect, right? Of course it will. The difference is, once you actually burst through and they're F6 or they've run out of gas, whatever it is, and you're casting your, two t or your draw twos and your draw threes and your relays or whatever, you're drawing into action, right? Instead of grids. Well, now what, OP? Now what? You're going to need a stifle. I mean, that doesn't really even do it. There's, you just can't really interact with bone. Oh, and they didn't even wait. Oh. Sick mistake. They could have at least gotten two copies. <laughs> but they didn't wait until one of the bonus round triggers resolved. Now we still get three copies of Rimpulse. And there are two active bonus rounds right now. Yep. That's a draw 12. Oops. Berg. At all. Twelve? How about twelve? <laughs> yeah. Let's scoop two. Okay, so Death Shadow with Strix. Chalice is going to be great. Blast Zone is good. More land. I think I would just rather swap one of the lands for a petal. Again, I don't think Jessica's Will is great against them. I think we can manage to trim a bonus round. Maybe we just do the right of flame thing. And maybe we just do the right of flame thing and keep the pedals in. Okay, this is exactly what happened in round two of the last match. And I'm going to do the same thing. That being keep and hope that we draw land. Because the hand is otherwise virtually perfect. Okay. Probably just take Ruby, right? Could get bold and take Petal, but I don't think that's a good move. Oh. Okay. They did Mulligan once, right? Yeah. Oh.
You have to force it. All right. Did its job. Basically a defense grid. Land, land, yes. Okay, they don't find anything, that's extra storm. Heard of the oof, the old man in the sea. <laughs> Ooh. And Ren's resolve. And then, yes, I was going to say, hopefully we hit a pedal. So if the other song got through, then this one's going to get through, right? Yep. Four mana post burning wish. Could make goblins. I feel like that's maybe an easy way to throw the game. They just have a sweeper. I think... Cast Burning Wish. If I could play Tinkering, I would. Because I'm Tinkering into Relay. I think I'm just putting a spell in my hand and then casting Relay. That spell... Might even just be another relay. But I'm gonna take bonus round. You can try and shut the door. Wasteland, okay. Wander. Likely to shuffle, and means they might have some sort of interaction. They did. But it is a random card, so it's very unlikely. Thing is, if they do have something, there's a lot of cards to go bye-bye. Um... Just not really a way to play around days either. I guess I can cast the Metamorphose. Team F sixth. So I'm actually gonna just hope that that's true. It is. I have to go song. You can go Bergy, bonus round Morphos. Only draws two cards though. I think I need to utilize Horn here. I think I just bonus round Morphos. To draw four now. I don't want to decide on this yet, and I don't think I have to. Make sure I can play Bergy so that I can get. We have enough mana. I don't have to get super efficient about that. I just want to know what these cards are before I commit to either side of this Bergy. The game is over. So now we can Berg. 
Super delicious. Bonus round. B -b -b bonus. Yeah. Yup. Okay, so we defeated not one, but two blue tempo decks. We only dropped one game between both matches. That's a good sign. We haven't really seen Chalice do its thing, but I think the speed that we've gotten from playing City Spirit Guides has helped play against some of the permission. Or we're just drawing better, playing better, opponent playing worse. I don't know, but we're 2-0, oh, so in round three. With card hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash deck. In Montequila. Okay, so last time I played them, they were playing Jewel. Or no, two times ago they were playing Jewel. Last time, I can't remember. It wasn't Jewel. I'm going to keep this. A little bit of risk. Fair amount of risk. But turn one Ruby is pretty good. Basic Island. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. No shuffle. play Rimples. There's too high a chance that Ruby gets countered. Alright. I wanted to find one land. Two is fine. The more important thing is that we found a land. Uh, another ruby's not bad. May very well counter this one, right? It did not. Hmm. I'm going to save this Manamorphose for this bonus round. I'm just going to Ren's Resolve. Pretty good for next turn if we can get this to Resolve. To rock. Okay. Is this a higher chance that they don't have permission though? They don't. They didn't seem to have it. Even after keeping a ponder, and then they hemmed us, right? So like, this is probably the card that they were trying to get paid with. See. Do have force. Okay. Cast Gadoo. What what are you talking about? You keep saying that. Godo. What is Godo? 
Murtai, they have three cards. We're at 16, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. 14, 12, I think. I mean, if we don't draw any action, we're done for, but they were just F6th. Draw any action here, we're just in it. Oh, yeah. Right of Flame. The only problem with this is we have no red. There would be a draw six, though. Tony's deck is beautiful. Thank you. I think so, too. We still have a land drop, so I'm going to go ahead and rip this. Damn. And that's what you're afraid of in that spot, right? That's the fear. I know I haven't. That's why I was willing to cast Jessica's Will there. By the way, the description says you're playing Cheerios. Oh. Right. I don't know why it didn't save the I mean I'm looking at the description right here. Let me make change and save it and see what happens. Super weird. I see what you're talking about, but it looks right in certain spots, but not in others, like glitching. Um. Okay, so want these. We're basically doing the same thing. Can we play against a different deck? Like, we already beat it twice. Okay, we've proven ourselves against you. We'd like to switch it up, please. Uh, Will's come out. Right of Flame. One bonus round. Seems good. Content. Live. Ruby Storm. Yeah, it's not talking about... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so. You're right. So everything was fine. I just forgot to put Ruby Storm. But the whole description and everything is fine. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's it. Sorry about that. The record box, 2-0. Okay. It is fine. It's a count two, deck mono red. I don't know what thing. You don't know what Cheerios is. Well, if you go look through the uh, the YouTube channel, 
go to the live videos section and you can see a couple videos back we played it last week it is a you play all the zero cost creatures all the kobolds um, ornithopters mem knights all that stuff and you play guy's cradle and you play uh, glimpse of nature and then you there you know various number of win cons that you can wind up playing do we just wait we cast burning wish yes okay that's fine Possible to see your list. Yeah, I fixed it. What list? For this? It's in the description. If you're talking about Cheerios, it's in the description of the Cheerios video. You have another spell pierce. I just want to get a right of flame. Is that too much to ask? Okay. get bold and try to get a Jessica as well could have also gotten bold and played pedal and right of flame but would be good city is kind of a bummer here Two, three, four, five, six. We do have enough to double relay. Three and four, or I can just go Ren relay. The problem is we're going to wind up pinched on mana. This is not necessarily the matchup that City is for. City is so that we can speed up against faster matchups, but it is not the greatest card in these like blue tempo matchups. It can be. It depends on the timing. The resolve. I'm not even sure if I want to play this mountain. That's a different story. Now I want to play the city. Now, even if they counter this, didn't. Okay. Feel pretty good about this now. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Don't. Thank you. All right, not the greatest, but not terrible either. Two lands and a spirit guide is not ideal. Song and Morphos are good, especially when we have a relay. I think we'll be fine. Are you? <laughs> Coming in hot at F and M with four stifles for me, huh? Just for me. Thing is, they haven't done anything. Like, you can't really 
beat Ruby Storm by doing what they're doing right now. You have to put pressure on board. Eventually, we're just going to grind you out with relays and draw twos. I think Blast Zone actually looks better here. Let the self. Ah, oh, can we stop at the lands, please? All right, four more fresh ones coming off the top. Come on with the lands. A lot of lands, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11 out of, right now we have 18 lands accounted for. There's only seven left in these 37 cards. Nope. Chalice. Morphos. Force it. I want to play out a chalice on zero for storm. All it hits is my petals. I'm not sure how much I care about petals. And I think I just want a red source here. I know I could have played Ancient Tomb, put another Chalice on one, but then we're using Petal and paying two life. No thanks. We'll put Chalice on zero. Their chalice. There's two burning wish and a rim pulse, though. That might pull us through. I don't know what their hand is, though. Yeah, I mean the the decision was whether or not I wanted to cut my own battles off, which isn't a huge deal. Burning Wish. Really? Burning Wish. Ugh. Really? How many relays left in the deck? One, two, three. Do not. I say, imagine if this Rimpulse had a relay, but we don't have any. I hit basically nothing. 
That's a bummer. All right, here we go. Four cards. Mystical Dispute and Daze were pitched to their Force of Wills. Down to six, they have three cards. We do have to draw action here. Not action, we drew like all four of our Chali. They got us. Which one of the downsides of Chalice of the Void, similar to Defense Grid, um, later on when you draw them, they're not exactly action, right? So we're two and one. We have. Can we just play against not a blue tempo deck? We are two and one against them, which is pretty good, pretty decent. Let's see all in round four. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. Yes, they pitched Mystical Dispute and Days. Or in a strictly worse cancel. <laughs> well, they probably just, you know, want as many counter spells as possible. They thought we were on Echo, yeah. I think people are familiar with Ruby Storm enough these days. Might play the Epic Gamble in Philly. Oof. Oh, come on. We're on the play. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to five. We kept on seven. Mountain pass. All right, forest. I like it. Wasteland, got him. Beetle. Gotta be needle. Otherwise, you just play it, right? We're just deciding map or needle. Come on. Come on, deck.
just scared of it. I had a fair amount of that tonight. Openers that were land light and then while going off flooding. Doom Sphere, okay. And typically this just wouldn't really be that competitive against this. You can shrug off a sphere pretty easily. But when we keep a one lander, we don't want to go to five and then draw into lands. And you do. <laughs> Come on. And I don't want to show them anything else, so. Set. Hey, what's up, John? Um, lasso. That's it. Jessica's will on average is pretty bad against them. This should be a very easy matchup, but not going to be very easy because two post board games against lands. Regardless of what you're playing, it's never going to be easy. Lithomantic Barrage. It's a one mana, cannot be countered, deals one damage to target creature or planeswalker, deals five instead if it's white or blue. Mostly to kill Archon. All we've shown them is mountain. Um, but they probably know we're on Ruby. We've coached this player with uh, in Black Saga Storm. They are aware of my doings. Oh, yes. Ah, I totally forgot. You think our sponsors and plug my own stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. We'll do that after this match. Hmm. A mulligans. I don't know if I want to play a turn one ruby or if I want to save it for relay. I think we're supposed to get it out. I gotta say, coaching helped me massively, and I've talked with you enough about lines of play, etc., that if you ever need someone to vouch for you, I'm more than down. No, I appreciate that.
Right, we got wasted. They play mocks. Four cards. Yeah. A good one. Two, three, four, two. I really want to go for it. Oh no, we're not playing Spree. I was gonna go Spree into Relay. We can go Gambit into Relay. We're that confident. No, we can't. We're one mana short. Can't tinkering. I can go get tinkering. I'm gonna go get tinkering. Could follow it up with relay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the bigger turn next turn. No sphere. Could be a fluster or a vigor. Hmm. Can't really take advantage of bonus round right now. Ring. Yes. Crazy, do we get? I'm gonna go song, bonus round, relay. Be walking into trap here. Would be a bummer. Okay. What does magic coaching generally look like as an experience? I've never tried it before, but perhaps maybe a way to improve my gameplay. It absolutely is a way to improve gameplay. Is it an, is it 
an appreciably different experience depending on what type of archetype you're trying to learn better. Um, I mean, first and foremost, it's whatever you want it to be, your time, so we can use it however you wish. Generally speaking, most of the time, people prefer to simply go through a league together and just spend a lot more time, you know, pausing and talking about things. Talking through lines, you know, what would you do here? Then you tell me what, what you do, why, through it. Um, sometimes people just have a list of questions that they want to discuss or a few, like, topics. Um, sometimes people have a league that they just want to go through the the VODs for or the, the gameplay and figure out how or where they went wrong. They have four cards. We don't have any straight up rituals. We have access to Rite of Flame with Burning Wish post bonus round. We're a little bit pinched on red. Could try to horn. Let's see if I can get away with. Let's see. Only done coaching for Delver, but I imagine it's very personalized. Like for me, a lot of what it, a lot of what I've gotten help with in coaching is sideboard mapping, how to tailor a board to play style slash meta. Yeah. Okay, so nothing. They didn't even touch Bergy. So. Just another bonus round. I'm getting to think they literally have nothing. Critical. And they did stop in a draw step at one point, so I think they're just. I don't know what they should really hit. Try to flame. Okay. Do get two of these. They just waited for the bonus round. They would have gotten four of them. Doing it in response. Although, honestly, it wouldn't be a big deal. Like, no matter what. They are hitting rituals, but we can Burning Wish or Rite of Flame here. Notably, we can Burning Wish for four different things because there's two active bonus rounds. This game has gotten out of control, OP. This card is typically not going to be good against us. We have Bergy Red, and we still have a land drop. Go for the old draw eight for free. I like that one. <laughs> we just, we have infinite mana, thanks to Bergy. We have another one? <laughs> okay. Sure. This round is gone. Who care?
Relay is going to be gone and pedal. Still don't care. Don't want relays. Keep those in the deck. Didn't. <laughs> Another one here. Well, mana morphos action. Get some mana. Then kill them. Red. 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 And burning wish. Whole bunch of times. At once. Let's get flames. Let's get gambit. Let's get the warrants. First, just see if they're dead. All right, they're skipping. They didn't die to that. Let's say they played Glacial Chasm. Then we can just Gambit plus Empty, and then damage can't be prevented, so they'll die. Run it back. Let's hope they go for surgical again. <laughs> I wouldn't even recommend bringing that card in against us. Well, to be fair, they do have a lot of dead cards, I'm sure. Maybe it's worth it. But you certainly wouldn't keep a hand on the strength of the card because it's not that good against us. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors. I do apologize, I forgot to do that. So, KMC. Uh, card Hoarder and Moxfield. They make a lot of this possible, obviously. And I do want to plug my own stuff, which I also forgot to do. I have my own Twitch, YouTube, Patreon. Uh, with that Patreon, you get early access to my videos. I do have a members section Discord that is a... A members channel within the storm discord uh very active channel and you can sign up for dono decks coaching sessions and sideboard guides and articles I've only written i think two um but once i go full-time i will be writing a lot more It also supports me big time because I do plan on going full time in beginning of May, late April. Need all the help I can get because I'm going to be quite poor. Both mulliganed. It also stinks.
Uh, also, it's worth mentioning I started a new podcast. Myself, Killaby, Punishing Waterfalls, and Newton. Um, we just finished episode six, which we had our first guest, none other than Bosch and Roll himself. So I would highly recommend checking that out. Um, it's mostly about brewing and strategy, like really high level nitty gritty, like level up strategy discussion. I think I mulligan this. One of these. I just both. I just want the basics. Maybe oh, I want pedal for relay. Yeah, one mountains. Like sure, blast zone can kill sphere, but most of the time it's just gonna get wastelanded. It's mostly there just to increase the land count. I do appreciate the Twitch Prime subs. It is certainly not a requirement that you put any sort of monetary commitment to to me. Um, we see here simply watching, you know telling others about the channel, watching here and now. Some of the best things that you can do to help me, they're completely free. There are all sorts of free things that you can do to help out, and they're all appreciated. So they have one card. Or it is annoying. I'm gonna draw another land, good. Uh, it is close. I think we're slightly favored here, but it's definitely close. Okay. They wind up with a Force of Vigor. That's going to be trouble. round is good these are cards that are very good at just plowing through a sphere right this directly counteracts it and this goes right over the top of it when you got a force of vigor it sure does feel like it Drop rot. Okay. Sand. Sure. Bummer. Just 
just gonna play with this pedal. Oh. Yep. Still pretty much anybody's game here. Again, if they find a Force of Vigor at some point, probably pretty far behind. Another mountain would be nice. Then we can just play this Rent Pulse. Uh oh. Fear number two. Loam. Okay. All right. We're not getting ported. They took a turn off of port. It's very good for us. Not so much if they have Force of Vigor. What's going on here? All right, no Force of Vigor. They should have done that first, then they could have picked it up. Liner error. And? Excellent. Okay. The surgical again. Making green, it's crop rot. Oh, besaging. The bummer. Close. Bonus round. Need one more mana to be able to cast Rite of Flame. Impulse here. Oh. Okay. Good help out. I'm gonna get ported. Didn't loan. Dark depth. Good. Now they're probably gonna canopy. Boom. Yep. Build the force of vigor. I like that. Playing another Besaju doesn't really help them, so. I mean, it's nice for them to be holding it up. If we hit, like, Burning Wish here, I think we win on the spot. So, we can go Song to go to 5. Song to go to 6. Bonus round goes to two, right of flame goes to four, play. Can't song post bonus round. If one, yeah. 
five, six. Six, two. Well, use it or lose it on these. Do I want to use the bonus round? Gives me effectively one, two. Then the copy is three more relay. So unlikely to like actually get there on that. Relay though, and I might need the bonus round. I think I need bonus round and right of flame realistically to get there. Relaying for three here. Copy, see the one in the graveyard. No. It won't be in the graveyard. It'll be on the stack when the cop when the trigger resolves. Okay, city's good. We have ported three, we're gonna have five. Still just like one away. Starting to make zombies. We have that ruby. We, we can Ren's Resolve plus Burning Wish. Wish like for influence. Probably too slow. Saga going. Ported. Oh, with the relays. It's all of them, deck. Can't wreck burning wish. You just burning wish get right of flame. Just to a crop rot. Ren's Resolve is just not going to be wastelanded. Put a right of flame in her hand. Wasted, we get ported. We're going to have three. Need to draw a soul land. Because then we'll have five. That won't be enough. They have Ruby, they just hit it. See us getting out of this. Maybe I needed to get uh, a confluence and we draw soul land so I could blow up sphere. And it insulates against another sphere. We get saga going.
Oh, this is brutal. Ported. Land. Hope. Plus three gives us two. Do I have to cast it so that this one actually does something next turn? I think we're dead. Six, six, twelve. We're almost like actually dead. Can't really think of a card that gets us out of this. Maybe another Rite of Flame? Probably not true. It's possible we should have done things earlier. Play under sphere while I had the chance. Still holding on to the same relay we had. Maybe, no, it's not true. Six, we're gonna get hit for 12. Assuming they don't have anything else. Soul Guide hit my right of flame. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> Your only chance is if they miss a port by accident, we draw our other city. Probably still not enough. No, it isn't. We're just, we don't have any draws. They didn't hit that. Maybe another Rite of Flame could have done it. But brutal. Okay. Two and two. See you in the final round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation dax that's enough for now let's play some magic all right we have won the die roll we'll keep these i i'm gonna cast ren's resolve I think Mountain Pass is really that good here. Pretty good. Oh, Mox. Goblins? No. Pitching Reanimate. Ugh, it's Oops All Spells. Are you kidding me?
And we're done. Summoner's Pact. And... Yes. Yes, 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 you did it. All right, we're gonna play Shall I? At the rate of flames, but honestly, I think I'm gonna be putting it on zero. Maybe it's wills and a couple of petals. I mean, petals help me actually power this out for one. Yeah, and this is going to be all about openers. 62, 1. Mountain, too late. Okay. We can keep this. Mulligan. I mean, this also doesn't really get there. So at least has a turn one ruby. We're on five, so we do have to keep this at this point, but we're probably dead. They kept on six. Kept on six. I think we do have to actually go to Chalice. Maybe we should have just kept the Chalice hand. Three. Okay. We keep Chalice. Pity is such a terrible one land to have. Chalice, City, Spirit Guide, I guess. Or maybe I keep the draw to Red Source. Try that. And we just gotta hope that this chalice kind of locks them. So I think there's a reasonable chance, but they do have lands. All right, all right, they're passing. Good sign. What is this weird glitch? Could go for this, but I don't think it's worth it. Pretty close. Maybe the same fix for the other glitch. Fix that. All right, it's dead. Where one? All right. Ugh. <laughs> we were really hoping to hit a land.
chalice. This is compelling magic. <laughs> Yeah, this is working. It's nice as if we draw one of our soul lands. Chalice on one. In addition to this chalice, that's really going to put a damper on their gameplay. Oh yeah, this is exciting. Come on. I. We have been in this spot so much tonight where we just cannot draw a land to save our life. Just can't. Not even close. It's ridiculous. Found a land, and we're probably dead. It was turn seven. Didn't draw a single land. Yep, they got Okay. That was not fun. <laughs> that game. The league was fine. I mean, the matchups were kind of frustrating, I will say. Like a bunch of tempo was annoying. And just. Oops, all spells at the end. Very annoying. I mean, we didn't get to test this, like, a ton. We did see the awkwardness of, in the blue matchup, drawing it later on. However, it's not primarily for fair blue. I guess it's not 100% clear if we should be playing it in fair blue, but I think we probably should. We just got mana screwed a lot tonight. Like most of our losing was because of that. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but you know, it happens sometimes. Do love me some Ruby Storm though. So if you enjoyed this and you need more, of course, check out uh you'll see all the live streams uh in the live section of the Epic Storm. Um, you become a member. There's all sorts of perks there that you can enjoy. Um, sign up on the Epic Storm Patreon. You can get access to various sideboard guides. And... Oh, you are welcome, Aiden. Um... Yeah, so check it out. All my links are in the description as well. Obviously, I want to thank uh, KMC... Uh, Card Hoarder and Moxfield, and check out my YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, uh, the podcast Brews of Paradise. Definitely check that out. Let's make the 2 3 official. But, yeah. That's about all I got for y'all. Uh, if you want some more live streams here on this channel, you can watch Jordan on Thursday. They usually put out a uh, a poll as to what we're going to make Jordan play. Uh, last Thursday, they played the, the new and improved Mississippi River deck. That was pretty sweet, but check it out. I will be stream. I'll I'll be streaming tomorrow morning around eleven a.m. Uh, Eastern time for a couple hours. And I uh, hope to see you there. What am I going to play? I'm not sure. <laughs> but come on down tomorrow morning and find out. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Keep storming.